Hi, my name's Dennis Stratton. Welcome to the world of multi-rotors. We're going to be bringing you an insight as to what's available, what to buy, what they're used for, safety rules and regulations, and how to fly them. So let's get started into what's available. If you're going to get started into multi-rotors, you'd start with something along this sort of line, which is a electronically stabilised, uh, off-the-shelf, ready-to-fly aircraft. This particular one is the LA Trax or La Trax Alias. This is quite easily controllable. It also comes with the included controller, which has a bit of feedback on it and shows you the battery state and also shows you the battery state of the aircraft. To go forwards, you push the stick away from you. The rear two motors speed up, the front two motors slow down, the nose will tilt down, the thrust will drive it forwards, and the same for coming backwards. This is the Blade 350QX. This has GPS stabilisation. As you can see from the green light on the back, this means that it's in GPS mode. And the GPS system keeps the quad exactly in the place where you've left it. So I'm not holding the controls, it's just flying itself. We're moving on from the uh, more basic models up to a more advanced model. This is the DJI uh, 450 and in fact this used to be my model when I first started and Paul's taken it and modified it. And I've also configured the radio so that I can pan and tilt on the camera but also as well I can adjust the pan and tilt on the knob on the radio as well so I can see a lot more from the air. The app will tell you how much battery capacity you've got left and we'll give it an audible warning to say return and land as soon as possible. You do have approximately 15 minutes flight time with this which is quite a long time and then you do need to really think about landing it. Uh, the kit contains all of the parts you see here, all the speed controllers that you need and it's got its standard board as well which is preset. You need to be able to supply a 3S or preferably a 4S pack because that works better on the 4S pack in all honesty and also a receiver of your choice to yeah. be able to tie okay. it into your own transmitter. But it will fly off a standard transmitter, nothing fancy is needed whatsoever. It's a lot of fun and I would put a silly smile on your face. Yeah. You have the Parrot Drone too. This is one of the first commercially available quad rotors. Um, the difference with this model is that you don't use a transmitter to fly it, you use a iPad or an Android tablet. And I'm alright in thinking this has got a downward facing camera, so it's slightly lower resolution. It also does, is it sonic height control? It's sonic height control. So. The overriding objective is to grow the industry and we want to of course do that safely. We want to do that sustainably. So we take care of a, a number of parts of the regulation. We try to uh, raise awareness in other operators and in hobbyists who perhaps want to move into the industry as well. Now, one common shot I'm asked to do is often to start low, hover and pull up and track backwards at the same time. Now, to do this, I fly in atti mode because it enables you to be a bit more fluid with a shot. So say I, I'll hover here and then I'll increase the throttle and I'll lift at the same time and that creates a really nice general view of whatever the subject was that you were filming before. I've also got a remote control which is triggered from another switch on the transmitter via an IR remote on the aircraft. If I do that the camera will take a picture. Have fun but most will fly safe.